Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Hello Buddy. So this video will proceed to the STPM Biology Semester 3, the new chapter, the second chapter, that is chapter 15, Ecology. And begin this video, I will try to not put the BGM music because some of the comments say that the BGM music will affect your my voice. Okay, so I try to not I try to not uh put the BGM first. So I need later I need you guys to comment lah, which is better either need BGM or no BGM. Okay, so we are wasting our time, so we just proceed to the first topic of this chapter. So this is ecology level. Ah, uh, the chapter, the first subtopic is ecology level. So this is the content of this chapter that you have to learn. Yeah, total 11, uh, 11 subtopics you have to learn. So it is also the longer chapter. Uh, okay, so... Okay, so level of ecology. So actually, I maybe all of you already know the terms ecology. So actually, in the world, there are total six level of ecology. Okay, so uh, ecology level, consensus level, the lowest level is called organism. Organism, I think this term is very familiar to it lah. To you lah. okay so the definition of organism is the individual species of a living organism it is concerned with how an organism structure and behavior meet challenges posed by its environment so it is just only one one species individual species only one like a lion a lion only one once one organism only so this is one uh uh one living living things only so this is called as organism and that the next level higher level is called population okay population is group of individuals of the same species living a particular geographical area like a population of lions banyak eco lion lah bukan satu lah dia ada banyak banyak lah this is called population but all are the same species. Only lion only. Only lion considered as same species. If you have any animals that is called not called as population. Only the group of individuals that are same species. Another higher level is community. Okay, community is group of population with different species in a particular geographical area. It is combination of population. Banyak population gabung, gabung together, they combine together, it will form community. Means that there are many different species. Ah. Got, uh, if you see this uh, picture, there are elephant, there are zebra, and then there are horse. Ha, banyak species. Ah. Ha, there are many population combined together with different species. Okay. Next, like, uh, like, uh, high level is ecosystem. Okay, ecosystem is a biological environment comprising all living organisms and non-living things. Okay, just now community is combination of population, which is living things also. But for ecosystem, it is combined, not only combined of community, but also with non-living things. Even the environment, the, uh, the, like temperature, Light intensity, humidity, and and also water content, the air, atmosphere, all of these combined together, you consider as ecosystem. So, semua lah. Satu tempat, semua, everything, 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 living thing and non-living thing combined together, we are considered as ecosystem. Okay, next, the, uh, the higher level again is biome. Okay, bioma is major biotic community which is typically characterized by dominant form of vegetation and climatic condition. Later, this bioma uh, will have the one topic you explain more detail, but bioma is there are. Ecosystem is just a one place, a big one place. 
but biomer is in the whole world there are many type of the different type of biomer like uh, the example of the one of the example of biomer for malaysia is tropical forest ha, tropical forest is one type of uh one type of biomer but tropical forest not in malaysia Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, if you see this picture, yang, uh, the light green color uh, is the tropical rainforest. Like Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, even Filipina, and also Brazil, and I think this is Africa. Africa, uh, some of the Africa areas are considered as uh, have tropical forests. All of these combined together will form one biome. So one of the type of biome is tropical forest and another type is maybe desert. Uh, desert is also another type of rainforest. Uh, uh, not, another, uh, not another type of rainforest. Uh, one type of biome. Sorry. Okay. And the highest level is biosphere. Okay. Biosphere is a combination of all planet ecosystem and biome. One earth. Whole earth. So whole earth work is called as biosphere. Ha, so logo dunia. Okay. So I okay. Okay, next is about the ecosystem because this chapter is called focus more focus on ecology. So ecology we were more focusing on the ecosystem. So the ecosystem is the interaction between the biotic factor and abiotic factor in ecological organization. So uh, it is, I already say, ecosystem is interaction between living things and non-living things. Living things, not only living things, but even non-living things were involved in one ecosystem, in the ecosystem. So, it is have the interaction uh, between biotic and abiotic factor. So, example of ecosystem are ponds, ocean, forests, and grassland. All of these are uh, example of ecosystem. And then the biotic factor and abiotic factor, I think this terms you already learned in SPM but maybe you already forget so I explain biotic factor is living components and biotic factor is non-living components so you can memorize like this uh, have A A means uh, A normally in English A is not right normally uh, if you see that uh, in biological it, you've got A in the terms A alphabet in the terms normally is considered as opposite meaning. So biotic is living component, air biotic factor will be non-living component. Okay. Uh sorry, tadi ada masalah. Okay. So okay, so biotic factor living component uh, comprised to three profit labor so A is producer, consumer, and decomposer. So these are the example of biotic factor, and then a biotic factor we will classify to three factors: climatic factor, like temperature, humidity, light intensity, and wind. All are the are classified as climatic factor, and the fifth factor is pH, water, air, air content, and organic content. And then another one is topography factors, E aspect of angle or slope. Okay. Uh, the ecosystem also involves energy flow that is continuous and produced in the form of heat energy and then that's why its nutrients in ecosystem are recycled by the biogeochemical cycle. So these two uh better you were the more detailed. So energy flow, I think you are familiar because food chain right. Huh. But biogeochemical cycle maybe you are confusing. Uh never mind. Biogeochemical cycle, you will learn uh in detail for the further topics okay so actually this video is finished so this is just the introduction of this chapter only so it's very easy lah. uh in more my very easy only not too difficult to understand so maybe you can scan this feedback form so i can know which problem what problem i can uh, face in this video and what can I make for this video so again uh, begin for the video so this video no BGM because some of them say that the BGM is too loud uh, until my nose my voice is cannot hurt so this video I try not put BGM maybe it will more clear for my voice 
Thank you.